So this lesson is all about solving radical equations. All of the work is based on a simple property. It is the powers property of equality. So if a equals b, then a to the n power equals b to the n power. In other words, if two things are equal, you can raise them to a power and they will both be equal. So let's take a look at some examples. Let's say you have the square root of x equals 5. And you want to solve this equation. What you want to do is kind of do the opposite power. In other words, the square root of x is also x to the 1 half. So the opposite of the square root is squaring or raising to the second power. So the square root of x squared equals 5 squared. And this simplifies on the left to simply x equals 5 squared, which is 25. And 25 does work because the square root of 25 equals 5. So that's a very simple example. How about if you have something like this? x to the 2 thirds power is equal to 16. Well, what you do is you want to get the x to have a power of 1. So you apply the reciprocal power to both sides. So it's going to be x to the 2 thirds to the 3 halves equals 16 to the 3 halves power. So on the left side, it simplifies to x because 2 thirds times 3 halves is 1. You get x to the 1 equals 16 to the 3 halves. So how do you simplify this? Do the root first. So this is the same thing as the square root of 16 to the third power. The square root of 16 is 4, and 4 to the third power equals 64. And if you put the 64 back in here, it does work. Okay, what if you have something like this? 4 root of x equals negative 3. To solve this, raise both sides to the fourth power. Okay, so what happens? The left side simplifies to simply x, and then you get negative 3 to the fourth power, which is 81. So now let's check the answer. Is the fourth root of 81 equal to negative 3? Well, the fourth root of 81 is positive 3, so it's not equal to negative 3. And this does bring up one of the issues when you're solving using the powers property of equality. Sometimes you'll end up getting an answer that isn't valid, especially when you're raising to an even power. And so you just have to keep an eye out for those situations. You want to check your answer every single time. So in this lesson, you're just going to be doing variations on this type of thinking. That's the big picture.